Okay, we're gonna make some cuts on the bandsaw here, show the general safety and general procedures of actually cutting uh, some material. First things, uh, you're gonna want your eye protection and general safety, so no loose clothing, uh, make sure your long hair is pulled back, uh, no headphones, earbuds, that sort of thing. If it gets caught in here, you're gonna have a new tattoo. First off, I'm gonna set the machine up to make a cut. To do that, I wanna adjust my blade guard to the correct height. The more that the blade guard is visible, the more body part I can fit through there to cut. Um, because of that, I want to lower this down to a uh, ratio to my board that is safe, as safe as I can get it. I like to use the finger roll, so I put my finger on top of my project and bring this down until I touch my finger with the roller or the bottom of that blade guard. And then I know it's anywhere from a quarter inch to a half inch um, above my material, which means I have not as much that I can get caught in there. If somebody comes up too close behind me and bumps me, um, then even if I go into it, I have some uh, protection on that. As soon as you adjust the uh, blade guard, um, on some of the machines, there'll be a knob in the back to tighten. Others, it'll be on the side. On this particular machine, uh, there is a knob on the back to tighten this and to adjust it. You loosen it and then physically move the blade guard up and down to adjust uh, to the height that you need it. Some are on dials. This one here is just a fixed system. Uh, be careful, sometimes some of them uh, don't have tension and so as soon as you loosen the knob it will just drop and uh, causing damage to your material or to the table. So make sure you're holding the uh, blade guard as you uh, loosen that knob. I want to show you a object lesson. This material is a piece of pine and uh, it's pretty stout. Um, I can't break this with my hand. Um, if I use leverage, I can, but obviously my finger, I could potentially break my finger at the knuckle right there. And uh, we're going to say that this is a little bit stouter than that, too. Um, it would take me longer to cut through this with a knife than it would to cut through my finger. So as an object lesson, I'm going to just turn this on and show what would accidentally happen is if I was to fall against this with my finger. to show what would happen if I fall forward with this. Watch how long this takes. Imagine that was your finger and somebody bumped you. Since your machine cuts so easily, uh, a couple things we need to do before we start cutting. One is to plan our cuts ahead of time. We can't just hope that it's going to cut in the right place. We need to have marks on there and plan those cuts accordingly. 